looking to buy a home this season, these are the key questions that your real estate agent needs to ask the seller in order to make your offer the most competitive. I'm Don Tullis with the Marquee Group. Here are some key questions that we will ask for you when we represent you as a buyer. One of the most important questions that you can ask the seller is why are they selling their home? Are they downsizing? Are they expanding their family? Are they blending their family? Are they divorcing? Are they getting married? The second question I ask is, have there been any offers on the property? If there have been offers on the property, then you really wanna find out from the seller exactly why they didn't accept those offers. Were there terms of the offers that weren't favorable for them? Was there something that they wouldn't accept? If it's been on the market for a long period of time, then as you go through the property, you can usually pull the comps and figure out why it's been on the market for as long as it has. Sometimes it's overpriced. Sometimes it's the condition of the property. Sometimes there's odors in the property or mold in the property visually that you can see, or if it's backing to a busy road, those are all different reasons that maybe potentially a property could be on the market for longer than it necessarily should be. If the property has just gone on the market and there is an offer deadline, in this competitive seller's market that we're in right now, most of the time the listing agent will put the property on the market either on a Wednesday or a Thursday and then let it ride out through the weekend holding multiple open houses. A key question that we need to make sure that we know is when is the offer deadline? Not only when is the offer deadline, but when can we expect the sellers to make a decision on an offer that has been submitted? So that might be a matter of a couple of hours. It could be 24 hours before they respond to any offers. So keep that in mind. The third question is what does the ideal contract look like? What does the ideal settlement date look like? That could be that they want to settle in seven to 10 days and rent back, or it could be that they want a 30 or 60 day settlement. So the more appealing you can be for the sellers and their idea settlement date, the better off you're going to be. Are there any contingencies that the sellers aren't willing to accept? Are they not willing to accept a finance contingency, an appraisal contingency, or a home inspection contingency? One of the most popular contingencies that the sellers don't like to accept is a sale of home contingency. So buyers, if you are out there and you have your home on the market, or you're considering putting your home on the market, I would consider doing that prior to putting in an offer on an, another. The fifth question. So all the time we talk about how buyers have all these contingencies, but believe it or not, sellers have contingencies too. So ask if there are seller contingencies that we need to take into consideration. One of the considerations might be that the seller has to find their home of choice. And that might mean that the buyer has to allow anywhere from seven days to a couple of months in order for the seller to find their home of choice so that they're not left homeless. Another contingency a seller might have is that they need that rent back. A rent back is also a post-occupancy agreement. So that allows both the buyer and the seller to go to settlement and then allows the seller then to rent back from the buyer. So the seller then becomes the tenant as the buyer becomes the owner. So two contingencies for the sellers that you might wanna consider when putting your offer together. Number six, are the sellers offering any type of incentive? Now, in our market that we're in right now, not very likely, but take away some key points in this. In a more balanced market, sellers will sometimes offer home warranties or offer some type of closing cost assistance for the buyers. So in a more balanced market, you might be able to negotiate more of those things. But incentives aren't always cash incentives towards closing costs. So I always tell my buyers, have your eyes open for hidden incentives there. If they have a home warranty on the property currently and that home warranty is gonna extend for the next eight months as you live there, that's an incentive for you. Or if they've just put in new windows or a new roof, new appliances, and those manufacturer warranties extend for two, three, five years, or sometimes there's lifetime warranties, on windows or if there's waterproofing in the basement. Those are all incentives for you. Those are incentives for you to be able to purchase a house that maybe has newer systems, newer appliances, and will make a more competitive offer and make it more enticing for buyers to sign on the dotted line. Let me give you an example on the opposite end of actually how asking all of these questions works 
in your benefit for a buyer. I was actually representing a seller in the transaction and his agent wanted to show the property, showed the property, but waited until and didn't disclose to his client that there was an offer deadline that they needed to submit offers by. Unfortunately, the buyer of that contract wanted to wait until the next day before they made their decision. Now, had the agent disclosed to him that there was an offer deadline or had asked the question, is there a deadline? then he would have actually had his contract in the running. Unfortunately, we ratified a contract before they submitted their offer in. So make sure you're asking the questions, make sure your agent's asking the questions, make sure they're doing the follow-up and the follow-through and having a conversation. Make sure that your agents are submitting the contracts, but not only doing that, but following up with a phone call, following up with a text message. In this seller's market, Listing agents are bombarded with contracts all the time. Contracts go into spam. If you're not following up with a phone call, if you're not following up with a text message, and if you're not getting confirmation emails that say that your offer was submitted, then it's not good. <laughs> I don't know where to end with that. So if you are looking to buy or sell anywhere in the world, text the word SOLD to 703-728-4193. I look forward to talking with you soon.